This video is an overview of a new clinical trial called Frontier for patients with recurrent glioblastoma. Glioblastoma, also known as GBM, is an aggressive type of brain cancer that grows quickly. The standard of care treatment for GBM is surgery, followed by external beam radiation therapy and chemotherapy. Unfortunately, in most patients, the GBM tumor grows back even after surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. When a GBM tumor grows back, it is called recurrent GBM. While the standard treatment options for recurrent GBM include additional surgery, external radiation, or more chemotherapy, some patients may be eligible for an investigational treatment on a clinical trial. A treatment called yttrium-90, or Y90 for short, is an internal radiation treatment that has been used to treat liver cancer. Doctors are studying the use of Y90 in the brain for recurrent GBM. Microscopic glass beads, which are smaller than the width of a human hair, carry the Y90 radiation medicine directly into the tumor's blood supply. The goal is to target the cancerous tumor directly while limiting radiation exposure to surrounding healthy tissue. The Y90 treatment starts with a doctor making a small incision in the leg or arm and inserting a small tube called a catheter through the incision. The doctor advances the catheter tip into a blood vessel near the tumor, allowing the Y90 to be delivered by way of the tumor's own blood supply. When the Y90 glass beads are injected, they release radiation directly into the tumor, damaging the cancer cells. There are some key questions about Y90 for recurrent GBM, including how this treatment affects the risk of stroke, bleeding, and brain inflammation, as well as how successful Y90 is at shrinking or destroying the recurrent GBM. In this clinical trial, patients with recurrent GBM will receive a Y90 treatment injected into the cancerous tumor in their brain. Before the Y90 treatment, all participants undergo imaging with a CT scan and an MRI of the brain, to measure the tumor size and exact location. Next, patients will have a mapping procedure using cerebral angiography, a procedure where doctors place a catheter to inject dye to map out the blood vessels of the brain that supply the tumor. During the angiogram, doctors will find the exact location target treatment zone for the recurrent GBM tumor. These procedures do not require overnight hospitalization. Approximately one week after the mapping procedure, patients undergo the Y90 treatment. The Y90 treatment is delivered by the doctors who placed a catheter in the same blood vessel position as the mapping procedure to inject the Y90 glass beads. Radiation is delivered from the Y90 glass beads directly into the tumor. After treatment, participants undergo an MRI and a PET scan. The PET scan glows in areas where the Y90 radiation was delivered to the tumor. Patients stay overnight one night in the ICU for monitoring, with a plan to go home the next day. Patients who receive Y90 treatment are not radioactive and can spend time with family as usual. Y90 glass beads deliver most of the radiation, over 95%, to the tumor in the first two weeks following the procedure. Although the amount of radiation released decreases over time, the glass beads will remain permanently implanted. All participants will follow up in clinic once a week for one month, then monthly for six months, then every two to three months, depending on the doctor's preference. To learn more about this study, talk to your doctor or click the link shown here.